From a distance, it's just a black square piece of glass. But once you move closer, you start to see images of a serious car accident. We are focusing on trying to implement a new tool, and that's why we developed this hologram to kind of focus on uh, a different way to encourage seatbelt use. It's the newest tool being used to demonstrate the risks of not wearing a seatbelt. This is a perfect educational tool, um, introducing a hologram uh, device into the schools. So, you know, even young kids can see it, uh, even to older, older adults. Two-thirds of all motor vehicle fatalities happen to people that are not wearing their seatbelts. And officials say the main culprits, 18 to 34-year-old men. I wear a seatbelt to set a good example for my kids. Have you ever not worn a seatbelt? Yes, I have. Why was that? I don't know. It's being lazy, I guess. Wearing our seatbelts um, in North Dakota is something that we struggle with a little bit. The hologram is set up like a timeline. The first side shows a man and a woman, and the driver is not wearing his seatbelt. As you work your way around it, you see the progression of a crash, resulting in the man being thrown from the car. More than likely going to be sustaining fatal injuries. There are several crash simulations throughout the state that promote seatbelt use. But officials hope that this cutting-edge technology is something people remember. Maybe the next day when they're driving, they'll kind of remember the importance of wearing your seatbelt. And that it most importantly helps save lives. Bianca Bono, KVRR News. Hi there, I'm Christina. I'm the account manager for the North Dakota Department of Transportation and I helped implement the hologram board project. Uh, we decided to launch a hologram board because uh, we needed a, a piece that would make people excited about seatbelts. Um, every May, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration provides grants to states to uh, do public information campaigns as well as enforcement um, campaigns. and. Part of the public information or public education uh, is a component, an education piece somehow. So we decided to use a hologram board because people really like visuals. They, um, they're easy to understand, they're interesting, but large scale visuals such as a crashed vehicle are very, very difficult to move. So uh, we wanted to find a smaller piece that could be mailed out, uh, perhaps sent to driver's ed teachers or uh, anyone else in the community who may need this tool. Once we set the hologram board as our educational piece, we started looking at what uh, we would be depicting on that board. So we looked at all the crashes that happened in North Dakota and found that uh, rollover crashes are the most likely to cause fatal injury than any other type. Uh, it's possible to be fully or partially injected in a rollover crash, even if you're going under 35 miles an hour. So we knew it was important to get that message out and uh, convey to people just how dangerous rollovers are. And if you do uh, get in a rollover crash, uh, how wearing your seatbelt can save your life. And just a few numbers for you. Uh, in 2014 in North Dakota, 30% of fatalities occurred in rollover crashes. Uh, and unfortunately, the majority of those fatalities, 87% to be exact, 87.5%, uh, were not wearing their seatbelt. So obviously, there, there's a great need to do this education. Um, so once we knew, okay, we're going to have a hologram board, and we're also going to depict a rollover crash, we decided on a pickup truck. Uh, and that's mostly because in, in 2014, 65% of the vehicles involved in fatal crashes were in the pickup van utility vehicle um, category. So this is one of our hologram boards. It's 18 inches by 18 inches. Uh, it's only about a quarter of an inch thick and it's very lightweight. So it's easily portable. It has a carrying case. There's a light stand that comes with it that also has a carrying case. So we can mail it. Uh, people can put it in the trunk of their vehicle. It's just much more portable.